Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023 statistics. Today we will discuss about question number 21 to 25 with the help of shortcut tricks. Myself Dr. Garg, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Garg and you can simply click on this telegram channel link by scanning this code. What we have discussed in our last lecture, we have discussed question number 11 to 15 and 16 to 20 with the help of the shortcut tricks of this GATE examinations. So now we will start with this question that is question number 21 which is related to the sequences of the random variables and they are talking about the whether they are convergence in the distribution, convergence in probability, convergence in probability distribution that is a question related to the convergence of the random variable. Whenever there is a question related to the convergence you have to simply remember this my text for you that is the relation between them. So if they are talking about the almost sure convergence then it implies convergence in probability. But here they are talking only about these two cases in all these four parts. Anyhow, what is the meaning of this line is if xn converges to x in probability, then this implies xn converges to the x in distribution as well. But if you look about this first option, they are talking about the convergence in distribution, then that means they are talking about the reverse side. So what when in general this is always true but the converse is not always true then how you can see whether the converse is true in this case remember this uh, again tips for you this is convergence uh, if i instead of the x if i say alpha in distribution then this or you or you can say this is the probability then definitely this converges to the x in the distribution but if it is of the alpha, alpha is my constant value, then this happens on the both side where alpha is my constant value. That means this implies this here only when alpha is constant and this is the same case happening here. So it means this is the correct answer. You can see if xn converges in the probability, then xn converges to the third mean. That means mu3 that can never be true. xn converges to the distribution yn converges to the distribution the sum will also converge to the distribution that is not always true e of xn converges to the e of x then xn converges to the first one that is not true that's the reverse side is true so the right answer is only a by using simple this remark okay look about the another one so this is the probability density function which of the following statement is the method of the moment okay what is that this is the exponential distribution so you can see if you if you remember this is my exponential distribution what is the mean of the exponential distribution is 1 over lambda what is the variance of the exponential distribution is 1 over lambda scale so if you compare them what is the parameter that is a 1 over here so what is the mean of this portion of this portion that is here and the variance is my x here now what is the method of the movement is you have to find the method of movement like of this what is the value of dy is x square this is my x square what is the e of x square i can written as variance of x plus e of x whole square so that is the right answer of this problem what is the variance of x lambda square what is the variance of this here so can you find the value of lambda from here this is y bar divided by 2 is the right answer so which one is the right answer is this sorry this uh, yes this is the right answer of this remember that this is not true so the right answer is my a that's a very simple because it's a method of the movements so method of movement definition is my here you can apply the mean and variances of this case so you know that this is my y bar so you can see lambda square is of this so i can return as of this one okay so this part is the uh, mle so how you can define the ll of size l so you can define that it's a product of f of x size i where is from here so what is that if i take off this so 2 over theta raised to power n product of x size product of minus log of e x and this is e of minus summation of this part now how you can differentiate i can take the logarithm of this so i can return as this is n log of this and you know that once you are finding this you have to differentiate with respect to theta so this is the constant okay so i can return this as a constant this as a constant 
plus I can return this number as ln e x whole square over t. Now if you take differentiate with this, the whatever these constant parts, these are with respect to x size, they are will be zero. So what is the derivative of this? So I can return as over here into minus 2 over theta square or you can simplify this as n ln of 2 minus n of this. Now if you take the differentiate, what will happen of this differentiation of this? This will be 0, this will be 0. What is the differentiation of this? That is the summation x over theta square. Now can you find the value of theta from here? 1 will be cancelled out. So theta is nothing but my ln x square over n is the right answer. So which one is the right answer is n minus 1 cancel out, n minus 1 cancel out. This is the whole square. Yes, this is the right answer of this problem. Okay, look about the another one. So if what is given to you, if x size follows my uniform distribution over the interval this, then you can find the value of the y unbiased estimator. What is the meaning of the unbiased estimator? That if I say a is the unbiased estimator of theta, that means expected value of a is theta. That's the meaning of this. Now, in order to find any of the option, we have to find expected value of this. If it is come theta, then this is the answer. We can find this and so on. That's again very simple. You can see if x size follows here, then what what is the meaning of this? It follows uniform distribution over this may. That's a very simple task. Then I can change them to be the 0, 1. So I can return as this over here, which follows that. It's a uniform distribution over the 0, 1. Now, once you know, I can consider this number as say y. y follows the uniform distribution of 1. So what is the meaning of that? y, the corresponding nth the corresponding nth of this will follow the beta distribution of here. That's the meaning of this. So I can return this number as of in terms of here that x of n that is my y minus 1 over 3 and this will follow my beta distribution of here. Now that's over. We can apply the expected value on the both side. Expected value of this because this is a constant. What is the expected value of the beta function n over n plus 1? Now I can find this numerator part. So what is the answer of this? This is n over n plus 1 into theta minus here. Now we can see the first option for this. If I apply the expected value n plus 1 over n is outside. What is the expected value of this? I can see here n over n plus 1 this plus 1 over 3. So you can see this will be cancelled out, this will be cancelled out, this is the theta is the right answer, so the right answer is A is the correct answer, since only one correct option is there. If you look for this, this B option, what will happen? n over n plus 1 is outside. If you apply the expected value of this, so it will be n over n plus 1, theta minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. It can never be cancelled out, it will not be a theta. So it means this option cancel and these are the cancel out. So right answer is my A one. Okay, look about the another one. So what, what, what is that? This is a multivariate. This is a multivariate normal distribution. And we all know that how you can define the multivariate is this is my multivariate of second is say y or here. This is my multivariate. Make sure this is called as covariance matrix and and this is my population mean. Remember this mu is my population mean. Then it follows my chi-square distribution with degree of freedom is my the normal distribution of here. In this case this is the, this is the p. So it is a, follows the normal dist, uh, chi-square distribution with the p. So look at that. Firstly this is the x bar but we need the population mean. x bar is the sample mean. So this option cancel out. Why x bar again? This is a sample mean. It's cancel out. Sample mean cancel out. This is the population mean, this is the population mean, C is the constant, there is no worry, it's a chi-square distribution with P degree of freedom. So the right answer is my A is the correct option. So that's a very simple concept about this multivariate normal distribution. I hope you can simply learn these five questions in a very simple manner. 
we will see the next lectures on the 26 to 30 till then you can simply follow my youtube channel dr harish kar and the gar statistics playlist where you can find all those previous year lectures related to the gate statistics examinations i hope you can like you can share and comment on my this videos best of luck students happy learning